Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay. This is Biscuit, Honey's Hiding Somewhere, and welcome to Inside the Hem, where we dive into all things sewing with style and budget in mind. This month I'm bringing you 30 days of festive fashion sewing, where each day I'm sharing a new garment sewing project idea to inspire your holiday wardrobe. No matter your personal style or your budget, join me as we add a touch of handmade magic to this season's celebrations. Let's dive into today's festive project, a really fun and cool, unique cardigan. Now, this is not going to be your boring, thin, you know, buttoned up, you know, prim and proper cardigan. This is a cardigan that when people see it, they are going to be wondering where you got it. It's that good. It is the comfiness of a cardigan that you know and love with a twist of something fun and unique that's really going to stand out. Are you ready to see it? Have I sold you? <laughs> okay, let's get to it. All right, you guys, here it is. This is the Sunday in Brooklyn Tool Ruffle Cardigan Sweater sold by Anthropology. What do we think? It's a little bit different, right? I think that it is comfy cozy with just a little bit of splash of something special and that's what makes it so perfect for your holiday event this is clearly for something a little bit more casual like a family get together um for what it's worth i also think it'd be great for thanksgiving i know that that is very soon but you know we've done crazier things in our lives right rather than sew a cardigan in a week um but yeah so this one has a uh, raglan, yeah, raglan sleeve. Um, it does have a knit band coming around and it has the usual like machine done knit, um, cuffs. We obviously have our own workaround to do that at home with the rib knit cuffs. Probably whatever you use for this, you will also use for this. Here's the back. You can see it's very oversized, very roomy. This is a very long, um, raglan sleeve. This comes down almost to her waist, it looks like. That's how oversized it is. Um, okay, so the ruffle detail, we're gonna zoom in on this one because it's actually super, super simple. So all they've done is taken what looks to be two, maybe three um, layers of tulle and they have gathered them and then they just stuck them onto the outside of the sweater. All of this is the raw edge of the tool. It's not even hemmed. Like you don't even really have to hem the cardigan. You could just run that through your serger and then you just top stitch this on all the way around. Right, isn't that cool? It, I mean, it really could not be simpler. Pattern wise, I found this one from Simplicity. They're calling it a knit loungewear pattern but when you look at the line drawing it's it could be anything right this one is not raglan it is drop shoulder i personally think that that is more flattering on more people i think there's fewer people that can pull off like a full oversized raglan like this without just getting completely overwhelmed by it um so that's my personal preference um it does have the band as you can see that we would be using and then we would just swap out the regular hem for a cuff some ribbed cuff um, and then leave off the buttons this is going to end at your waistline i believe or maybe high hip it ends at high hip and then you would add the uh tool on top of that hers probably comes down to it's got to be high hip high hip ish maybe a skosh below high hip um and then the tool brings it down to her full hip measurement they're gonna call for lighter weight um wovens uh, we are going to go with a chunky ribbed sweater knit. So ours is going to be more in this uh, sweater knit category. There is a pick and knit rule. So you're just going to want to make sure that you test the stretch of the knit. And if it's not as stretchy as they recommend, then just size up and you'll get an even more kind of oversized look of it. 
Um, we don't need a lot. We're looking at, for the cardigan A, one and a half yards, okay? So not a ton. All right, and as far as fabric goes, again, I had a time. These sweater knits are not easy to find. I have a few different options I'm gonna run by you really quickly. I'm gonna start with my favorite though. It's this plush stitch texture sweater knit. It was the only one I could find in chocolate. It is not technically the rib knit like our inspiration is. See how this has more like defined ribs? It's not that. Um, I did my very best to find that, but it was really hard to find. Um, so this plush texture, I think will still give you the same idea. It will have a little bit of drape in it from the rayon, um, 56, uh, inches wide so nice and wide and then it does have a little bit of stretch um so yeah that's from style maker 35 dollars a yard um next is uh this place called lyrical fabrics they had a bunch of options just none of them were thick enough so the only one i could find or i found two this natural gray heavy cotton big poodle french terry um it's definitely more like um like a cozy teddy bear type of cardigan than what our inspiration is and then they had this black rib it's a heavy cotton two by two uh sweater 95 percent cotton five percent spandex i did have a request from someone who wanted to see more natural fibers so i'm doing my best to try and <laughs> exclude as much polyester as i possibly can um this one's 51 inches wide yeah you might need you might need the full two yards for this one since it is narrower than 60 inches wide but it's black okay so that was an option then i found this place called gk fashion fabrics i'm tempted to believe that this does not come from the united states or north america um it might come from china so just be wary of that if that's important to you um but they did have some good options they had this chunky uh cotton big knit fabric with lots and lots of colors they had this cable knit i don't know why this is stuck there they had this cable knit um that's kind of like brushed you can see that there and then this is what makes up the cuffs and stuff so they have matching rib for a lot of their products so that was nice um there's also this kind of chunky cable knit sweater um there's this one remember the other day when i was looking for cable knits and i couldn't find them anywhere well here we are i found the place um so lots and lots of options here i just didn't want this to be the only thing that i um recommended because i'm not entirely sure like what shipping's like how long it takes you know all of that kind of stuff um and then finally finally i found another place called simplify fabric that had a lot of really great chunky knits um but they weren't in the chocolate color or they were sold out or had limited quantity that are on sale only have one in stock so you have to look through just to see what's going on um but some chunky ones happening here as well vision right now i'd be buying this style maker um so it'd be about 50 bucks for for that okay okay off to amazon to find the tool they do have some listings that have a bunch of colors so if you chose one of the other colors other than chocolate brown um find one of these listings that have like a bunch of different options like this one I'm just going to recommend this one here because it has the chocolate that we're looking for. It's six inches long. I think that's the most important thing. You do get 25 yards of it, which is really annoying, um, but that's, that's the case with Amazon. You have to kind of buy a lot. Thanks for joining me for today's festive project. I hope recreating this fun cardigan sparks some holiday inspiration for your sewing. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on tomorrow's project where we will be recreating a sparkly top to maybe layer underneath this cardigan. I can't wait to see you back here for more 30 days of festive fashion. Happy sewing and I'll see you all very soon. Bye!